It's in Genesis chapter 22 that we meet God by his name, Jehovah Jireh. In the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen that the Lord provides. This is where Abraham met God in this special way. In Genesis chapter 22, Abraham had put his son Isaac on the altar there on Mount Moriah. He was getting ready to sacrifice him. But the Bible says in verse 11, But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And I always have liked that because when God called him in the first part of this chapter, he said, Here am I. Abraham was always available to hear the voice of God. Today, my friend, if you want to meet God as Jehovah Jireh, you want to meet him as the Lord who provides. First, he provides for your salvation. He provides for your eternal forgiveness of sins and make you a righteous, holy, justified person in the sight of God, you must first be available to hear His voice. The first call of God to every individual on planet Earth is the call to salvation. The Bible says that Jesus Himself came to seek and to save that which was lost in Luke 19.10. And today He calls you. Do you hear His voice? And then like Abraham, He said, Hear am I. Here am I. Now, isn't that interesting? Because when God appeared as Jehovah, he says, I am that I am. God is the great I am, the self-existent one, the eternal creator, the personal God who wants to meet my need and your needs. When he comes to us, we say, oh, here I am. Now, God is the great I am. Abraham says, here am I. Am I? Am I? The I comes second. I am comes first. And when that takes place in our lives, oh, what a difference God can bring into our hearts and transform us into even the image of His own Son, Jesus Christ. And God said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him, for now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son from me. Salvation takes place when we listen and hear the voice of God calling us to Himself there in the mount where God gives the ultimate sacrifice, His Son, Jesus Christ. But it must come at the place where we also are willing to lay our everything on that altar. We're willing to give up anything. I'll never forget a gentleman one time I asked him about receiving Christ and he was under tremendous conviction. He, he was really moved to know that he had to make a decision. And then he says, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't make that decision. I can't ask the Lord to come in my heart today. And I says, why? He said, come in here. He took me in his kitchen, opened up his refrigerator, and showed me a six-pack of beer. A six-pack of beer. He said, I'm not ready to give up my beer. You know what? <laughs> he got the cart before the horse. Uh, he didn't need to give up his beer to get saved, but he had to be willing to turn from his sin, his selfishness, whatever he wanted to live for, whatever that beer represented to him, before Jesus could come into his heart. That's called repentance. Abraham was willing to give up his only son, his only son, his precious, precious, promised son. He was willing to give him up if God asked him to. And then that's when God appeared. Now, isn't it interesting, as we look at this passage of Scripture, that we think back to what we talked about when we met Jehovah, and Jesus was talking in John chapter 8, and the Jews were accusing Jesus of being blasphemous for claiming to be deity, claiming to be God. And Jesus made that statement in uh, John chapter 8, verse 56. Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it. And then he says, and before Abraham was, I am. Wow. Jesus says, before Abraham was, I am. And the Jews took up stones to stone him because they, he claimed to be God. Now, what's interesting is Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it. There, in that passage, we're reminded that in the book of Genesis 22, Abraham saw the day of the sacrifice of the Son of God by faith. He looked forward. We look back. Oh, today, trust Jehovah Jireh to be your God, your Savior, and let Him come into your life.
You claim, you say, here I am. God bless you.